Hey YouTubers, it's Tony here from We Try Anything, the channel I try anything, so you don't have to. In today's video we're going to take a look at a watch from a different brand to the usual Casio watches, with this one being from Lorus. Now I do like to feature many Casios on the We Try Anything channel, as I do have a very nostalgic bond with the brand, and they do produce some fantastically affordable timepieces, but sometimes I do like to obtain other branded watches to add to the collection, especially ones that catch my eye and are maybe a little different from the norm. So in this video I am featuring the Lorus V52H watch, as you can see with the numbers there, v 52 0A20. Now there are two reasons why this very watch caught my eye. First of all, I've never really owned a Lumibrite watch before, and if you're not sure what Lumibrite is, it's a paint that Seikyo, because Loris are owned by Seikyo, the, or the Seikyo watch company, which covers the whole dial, and I'll talk about that a little bit later on in the video. The second reason why this watch caught my eye is that if you look in the four o'clock position, you have a digital display. So let's take a closer look at the Lorus V52H that we have featured here. Now this watch is an eBay purchase and it is in good condition, I've got to say, it is really nice. I know I do feature a lot of Casios with their acrylic crystal, as it would be known, where it's all scratched up and stuff like that, but no, this one is in absolute great nick. Now, the only reason, obviously, there's a few scratches here, I had to take the case back off uh, because the analog part wasn't working and the digital part was playing up, and that was just simply down to the battery. Now, this battery uses an LR920. Now, I do have another a new battery on the way, but I did manage to get it going for the purpose of this video. But yeah, otherwise, it's in great nick, and just to mention that it is an eBay purchase, and the reason being, I haven't seen this in, in the shops or on Amazon, so, it is quite a hard watch to find and saying that there's not much information about this watch also so in terms of um uh, what this watch is about and what it does and stuff like that I couldn't find much of it but I did find the instructions to the digital display so I've linked to them below uh, in the description box so if you do look for, if you are looking for one of these then this will definitely help in terms of sizing you are looking at about 43 millimeters from the left hand side to the crown on the right and it isn't a large watch by any standards really. Uh, look to look, just to the top, to the bottom there, you're looking at about 46 millimeters. Depth wise, it is quite a thin watch and you are looking at about 10 millimeters. So, you know, if you've got cuffs or you wear shirts and stuff like that, then this watch, it, it, they'll easily glide over this watch because it just doesn't, it doesn't stand out or it doesn't have any parts that inhibit any kind of cuff movement or anything like that. Moving on to the case, what you have is a very nice polished metal case and it's got a, a fixed bezel here so the bezel doesn't move or anything and I would imagine that's because it is moulded as part of the case and it's also very nice and polished to uh, what would be the lugs there and the actual bezel has a what would be a non-polished look to it. Now on the bezel you do have the arrow pointing to the 12 o'clock position and you do have minute markers that go all the way to just before the 4 o'clock so if you are looking for it to time stuff and anything like that then this will help you uh, do accomplish that feat. Now as I say it is lovely polished metal and on the back you do have the stainless steel back and it does feature a uh, 5 bar water resistance because there is a gasket on the inside and the other thing to mention is it does have two pushers as well now these pushers do operate uh, what would be the digital display which i'll show you later on and also you do have a crown with a lovely crown protector there so it is a nice watch to look at and i've got to say it, it just it's very nice it, it isn't scratched up or anything so i would imagine it's quite a hardy watch to wear in a lug width, what you're looking at is 20 millimeters. I've measured from in inner parts there to there. And obviously the strap, as you can see, goes from edge to edge and it doesn't taper. So this strap it is 20 millimeters in width as well. And it is a very nice fabric affair really with a leatherette feature to the holes. And obviously people do sometimes like fabric straps. It's a bit more um, comfortable on the wrist and uh, that I do I do like it and also what I do like about this especially the coloring of the strap it just complements that beautiful very nice creamy look to the dial the dial window is a flat now I'm guessing because I can't find much information about this watch I'm guessing that's mineral glass to this because it yeah it doesn't feel like a acrylic or anything like that or like an acrylic crystal and there's also not 
any scratches that I can find. So I'm going to stick my neck out and say I believe that that's a mineral glass or a mineral crystal. Correct me in the comments section below if I'm wrong on that, but I do believe that this is probably what would be a mineral glass. But talking of the dial, it has got that very nice overall creamy look to it. That Lumi Bright paint does feature on these watches and it is a really nice look to it and it's also got a very nice uh, the, the the numbers are printed on there in a, a contrasting what would be like a a black uh, color into it with the hour markers and the minute markers there as well and also you do have obviously the logo and all the information printed on there uh, but you do also have the 24 hour clock in there as well just just the 24 hour numerals just going on the inside of the dolly so if you did prefer the 24 hour way of um, telling the time, then it does have your back there. Now, the creaminess of the paint is down to Seikyo's Lumi Bright paint technology, really. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you later on what the luminescence of this paint is like. But what I just wanted to mention as well is, as well as a doll, you do have a very nice handset here, which is in a, like, a, I would say a Mercedes style handset, where you've got the, well, the reason being why I say it's a Mercedes style, because it's obviously looks like the Mercedes logo, but that's in a, like a style, it does look like a cube, really, the way, if you look at it at a certain distance, but it does have an arrow to it to point to the, the uh, whatever the hour is, and obviously you've got the nice minutes there. But it's also a contrast with a very nice arrow styled um, second hand sweeping around that dial. Now these aren't loomed and you don't need them to be loomed because you've got this dial and when I show you how the dial works in darkness and semi-darkness you'll see why this hand doesn't need to be loomed because trust me this watch really does stand out in the dark. Now talking of loom I might as well go on about show you the paint. Now as I say, it's Seikyo's branded Lumi Bright technology in the paint, and that means it's what would be known as it's non-radioactive. Now, Lume in the old days used, I believe it used to have some sort of radioactive element, so allowing the um, watch to glow at night. But this doesn't feature any sort of radioactive material in it, and the luminescence, and I'm just showing you how it looks here, is just unbelievable. And under, I mean, even after we're just popping outside for a couple of minutes, in not even in direct sunlight, you do see as you walk inside, you know, just a, an area that isn't as bright, it does start to show on the dial. And in the darkness, this thing just absolutely glows. It is stunning. And I've got to say, it, it, it's just something that, if you like your luminescence on watches, then this watch, it, it's just something else. Now, there is other watches that are in the, um, Lowers range which you can find on Argus and Amazon which I'm just showing you a picture to the right which does also feature this technology and it's also uh, they're obviously the more modern versions of what I would imagine this watch would be which is like a field style analog watch really but this one has the nice digital element to it those are as I say they can be bought today for about 30 pound and I would imagine if, if you are looking for something with luminescence then maybe look at something that I'm featuring there on the, the little inset picture I mean if you can find these on eBay or um Vinted or any any other them type of selling sites then you know as I'm going to probably mention later it's well worth it as well as the luminescence which is just unbelievable the other feature on this watch is that digital display now you'll have to forgive me this is probably not the best representation of that digital display because I would imagine the battery is probably on its way out and as I say I have I have ordered one for about a couple of quid off eBay which is an LR 920 and um, you can get them on Amazon as well um but it is a very handy little feature to add to this watch. Now, not only does it have, you can feature the, the, the date, which is obviously you've got the month at the top and the day, date within the month underneath. You can also feature, oh, I've just gone too quick past it. You can also feature the time as well as, if I show you the double zero, you can also feature what would be a countdown timer. Now there is instructions to this watch linked uh, below and um, that will help you understand how to use the countdown timer and stuff like that. But what you do, you just press that button to set the timer off and then just keep your finger on the button, I believe resets it really. But it does give a more practical element to this watch. If you are looking for something that's just a little bit different to the norm in terms of analog watches from Loris. And I gotta say it does, it does act to the overall practicality of the watch. And the other thing as well, if you are a bit of a traveler, what you can do, you can set the digital time to either be the local time or the time in which you're traveling to. And the same with the, uh, what would be the analog part, you can set that to your local time and then obviously that to a time around the world that has a different time zone or 
that with the time zone that you are traveling to and that your local time so it does have that added benefit for travelers and people who like to wear field watches and just have that added element of being able to tell the time in a different part of the world now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop it on my wrist and say what this watch is like to wear now on the wrist i've got to say it is really nice and i, I am loving that green band it just adds to the overall aesthetic of this watch now obviously it'll probably go well with a white shirt or something that is a little bit different to what would be a black hoodie with a bit of dust on it but um i've got to say it is a real nice standout watch now i would imagine with that 20 mil uh, inner lug with you could probably get a nice leather band for it or something maybe like a like a brown leather band or oh, obviously the black leather band with maybe a bit of light stitching to it or something that would really add to the look overall look and aesthetic of this watch but I don't know, I just really like the uh, what would be the standout, two standout parts of this watch, which will be the luminescence of the dial and then that little digital display, which I think just adds to the overall aesthetic of the watch. It's not something that stands out, it doesn't sh have loads of text over it. It's just got that little bit of text in the middle and it just, I don't know, it just looks real classy, I believe. Now it is, my hand is not inhibited in any way. I mean, the watch is only 43, or the case width of the watch to the crown is only 43 millimeters. And it just, I just gotta say, I really do like the look of this watch. And I, I know I say that with a lot of watches, but I do tend to pick the watches that I like to feature on the channel because I like wearing them when it's not on camera, really. I like, add, you know, I like wearing them daily and wearing different watches so I don't always intend to buy watches I don't like so um, I will do from time to time but for, for this instance I picked a watch that or I, I picked out a watch from eBay that had a little bit of a different look to it and had a little bit of functionality to it so again you know you can probably add a different strap to it and such like that but it is nice I mean the straps not cold or anything it's quite warm into the touch and it just adds to that I don't know that practical field style that this watch has and overall I've got to say if you if you if you get the chance to maybe look at a watch like this or or some of the more modern lineup that I'm just quickly showing you here of lower watches which has that luma bright dial to it then they're definitely well worth considering and especially this watch if you can get it off eBay or maybe on Vinted or Spock or any any one of them sites and I think I only paid about including postage I didn't pay a lot for this I paid about 15 pound overall I just think it's such a, a nice elegant watch that you can wear with a lot more casual outfits so overall i really do like the look of this watch the luma bright stands out as does that little digital display adding a whole host of functionality to what would be a quite a simple field watch so i hope you like the video and if you did then give it a like always helps the channel if you want to see more videos and other watches coming from the retry anything channel then click on the subscription button below and thank you for watching this video and we look forward to seeing you next time goodbye